All right, uh, my name is Marius Kusch. I'm 26 years old, a Munich, Germany native. I joined Queen's University of Schadet in 2016. Um, my biggest successes while I was training and swimming at Queen's under coach Jeff Duckdale were probably uh, turning European champion, uh, participating at World Championships, um, and placing like on multiple like national relays. Um, and yeah, and I graduated in spring 2019 in finance. After I graduated, I moved to San Diego, so I live in uh, La Jolla, San Diego right now. Um, I'm going to stay here until the Olympics. It's still my goal. I got postponed. I think it's probably the best decision for everyone. It's much bigger than just the sport of swimming. It has, you know, health issues for a lot of people, economical things behind it. Um, and so the main reason is still to prepare for the Olympic Games. Um, that's like a little bit, not long term, but that's an over year. So the other goal is at the end of this year. Um, there's going to be world championships. I actually don't know where, but that's something that I'm working toward. And right now, honestly, just with the resources that you're given, just trying to stay in shape like everyone else. Well, I qualified for the Olympics, but it depends on what my federation is going to do with the rule set. If I have to do it again or not, no one knows yet. How did this pandemic affect your training? Um, how are you training right now? Like what resources do you still have available to you? So all of our pools are closed down. There's not a single pool in the area that is open. Um, so the only possibility is I have a uh, probably 14, 14, 15 yard pool in my apartment complex where I jump in a couple of times. It's not really real training. So you can't really call it that. Um, but other than that, I'm doing a lot of violent uh, running. I play a lot of tennis right now and just really focusing on a lot of things that came short where I didn't have a whole lot of time uh, if that's working on mobility or whatever. Because I think this time is also a very big opportunity for a lot of people because you have so much time to work on things that usually you can't do. And if you don't, after, if you're after this uh, quarantine, if you're not better in anything, then it's uh, not a lack of time, then it's just a lack of discipline. What are some things that you're doing to kind of like keep up, like, I guess what you would need to do in the pool, but obviously like not having that resource, like what are some like things that you have to focus on are like exercises we still have weekly meetings with our coach but online we do zoom meetings i just finished this right now and called you guys right after where we usually do like a anywhere from 40 minutes to one hour of like a dry land session for all the things i do right now i don't necessarily need any big resources because everything i do i either do in my apartment or my balcony this just really comes down to your mindset it's a very very dangerous time to just take a step back relax and you know just be sad all day long it's it's something that is out of our control and you know we always at queens approach it that you should focus on the things that you can control and right now you know swimming or everything it's not that but i can control that i'm going to stay in shape that i'm going to stay positive and you know i have direct impact on my attitude um so that's really just the things that i'm focusing on i'm as i as i said i'm using this as like an opportunity because there's so many things that you want to work on, but you, you never find time or whatever, you know, they come short. And so this is really the time to do that. Um, for example, I signed up for like a computer coding class at Stanford, which is for free right now. So that's what I'm going to do within the next month. Um, so I keep my, my brain a little bit sharp. <laughs> wow. That's really awesome that you're staying motivated. I think that's what separates like the great athletes from the good ones. <laughs> well, thank you for having me on this, uh, on this interview. <laughs> thank you, Mario. All right, bye. Have a good one.